Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to Service Area. And hello to the live studio audience here. That'll be on screen for a moment, but they will be silenced eventually. Uh, we are back in the Lazy Bricks household. We Now, there is one less member in the household. When we originally first started playing the household, there was Lazy, but also her brother. Her brother here, uh, Jeremy. Jeremy was very, like, curious coded, curious boy coded. Like, he, he felt like he was some sort of, like, Pascal Vidkin Laszlo love child, which that's not that's not the right way to say that because they're brothers. But you know what I mean? If they all morphed, if they were triplets that morphed and absorbed each other, they would be they would be him. <laughs> I'm just, just getting worse. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, Chris start. Do I know what you mean? <laughs> you know, he's gone because he went and got married to his girly tender in another household he's uh he's gonzo which means that lazy is all alone and if you recall last time lazy who is somebody who so lazy is a grilled cheese sim who lost her husband he by lost i mean he left her for uh another girly in town her husband her ex-husband his name what was his name again it's husky right yeah husky Rhodes. he ran off with zelda I think she, she, they, I think they must have cheated for a little while. Also, I think he cheated with, didn't he cheat with her sister that was living there for a while before she got sent, she moved out and ended up living in Madame Zirconia's place. Also, she, Lazy got abducted by aliens, had a freaky alien baby, and like, she was just in like a really fragile place right now. <laughs> and I think that was kind of her, her whole thing was that she was just kind of, she was very, I guess, depressed and like just out of it and she was having a hard time keeping on top of the kids in the household and her brother was living there and helping but now he is gone so i don't know what's gonna happen exactly she is unemployed and she has one two three four five children in the household she had two twins last time two twins she had twins and then also zyron who is a alien baby i forget who the father of the twins is though is it just husky is husky the father of the twins oh they are no they're oh i see okay so it they are aaron babies he's uh living at he's the rose bride club jerk you know the one somehow they had a baby which is interesting i didn't really remember that I assume, was she already pregnant when we started playing her? All of her, all of her memories are just eight grilled cheese, eight grilled cheese, eight grilled cheese, eight grilled cheese, had baby, had an accident, passed out, eight grilled cheese. She's kind of a mess. She was also the one that last time she passed out, but somehow had like platinum aspiration and we're like, how does she keep getting like maxed out? She was like farming aspiration while she was passed out because somebody kept like trying to eat a a a rotted grilled cheese and then they kept putting it down and then restarting to eat it and then while she was passed out it kept rolling her like fed somebody grilled cheese one or like served someone grilled cheese and it kept just remember it just kept like it was like an aspiration farm <laughs> that was really funny so that was that was a highlight one of the highlights but yeah i just remember lots of chaos lots of mess but yeah so that was that was kind of the rundown i think um i don't know if we need to i guess we can go around and talk about everybody a little bit uh, i'm gonna hide chat goodbye chat thank you for your service chat so we have lazy then we have daphne daphne is the child of husky the ex-husband. Then she has a twin brother who is named Step. He is also obviously a husky child. And then we have Zyron, who is the creepy alien baby. I think she had like a really weird bio. All it says is Zyron needs a lot more data, which I think is like indicating that the, the aliens in this town, like the aliens are pollinating Sims with the purpose of getting like alien spies on the ground. And then we've got, okay, Lazy, you've got to, Lazy's going to have to step up here. Are you trying to put the baby down? Can we just change? So then last but certainly not least, we had the two twins, which, as I said, are Aaron babies. Um, we did name them Cheese and Curd. They are they are Cheese Curd. So yeah, I think this is just going to be very similar to the poverty household where it's going to be just lots of chaos. Okay, the baby's not supposed to be in there. Lazy's super tired, but she really needs to change another diaper. I know, she's going to pass out. Okay, there she goes. Well, she'll pass out. I guess, it, you know, honestly, it's not a bad thing because when the babies need something, they're going to wake her up by crying. So, like, 
But like, so one thing that somebody brought up was the concept of possibly if we get lazy to a point where things are contained and, and controlled, would there be a point where she would be freed from her grilled cheese sim hell? What if we changed her aspiration when we decide that she's gotten better or something or improved her standing? Maybe if she sees the therapist, we can fix her. He can fix her. That's interesting. So she has to get to failure again. Lately, that's the thing is lately she's been doing pretty good because of the grilled cheese stuff being so simple. But I don't know. Yeah, that's just kind of a, a thought. Um, also, last but not least, we have Garfield the cat. Mr. Garfield. Garfield in this house is so fitting. Yeah, Garfield, I honestly, if if only she could be like a lasagna uh, obsessed sim. In this universe, Gr Garfield hates Tuesdays and loves grilled cheese? Question mark? Yeah, I think that's probably... <laughs> But also, what what about like what if Miss what if Miss Lazy found her a new herself a new man? You know what I mean? What if she like what if that's where she kind of what now why now why would you do that? <laughs> Look at she chose to put that here, ma'am. Okay, the kids are going off to school currently. What are you doing? Oh, you're trying to cool off. Oh wait, <gasps> you missed school. You gotta go to. What if he just you know what? Well, here go back to what you're doing. Maybe he should just not go to school. She just doesn't pay attention. Mom's like in breakdown mode. Zyron is upset. You are close enough to being able to survive. I feel like I'm struggling with fun in a lot of these households. I don't feel like I struggle with fun in a lot of other households. So what's going on with you? You're just sad. Okay. Get, join the club, kid. <laughs> join the club, kid. Lazy, what are you doing? Oh, lecturing. She's lecturing Step about not doing going to school. She's like, you need to learn about pottery at school. You, you have to be a history major to be good at school. Also, she's about to piss herself. Can we stop yelling at him? Um, the babies have flies around them. Okay. Once again, a theme of child meltdowns. I feel really bad for these kids. He wants to be friends with Bumblebee. We gotta try it. Maybe we can get Bumblebee to come over after school. Also, these kids are... Oh, wait, are they going to age up today? Because it says one day. That means they're probably going to... Also, yeah, pottery in the Bricks household. But that means that they're going to age up today. Why don't I get a couple of cakes? We'll do some cakes. Because I those are the cutscene cakes. They're a, a modded cake that triggers the cutscene. So you don't have to have a party. Oh, God. Daphne brought home a corn kid. God damn it, Daphne. Okay, well, she's got this one. That's cheese. We're going to feed a bottle to cheese. And then put cheese away. We're going to try and, like, sort them out here. Feed a bottle to curd. I can hear the child's having meltdowns. Who's having a melt? Oh, you again. Okay. Um, well, school is over. So let me see if I can get his friend. To the Simmy wants to be friends with the come over. He's, he's in really bad mood right now. And, and he has a big fear of growing up badly. And I think he's gonna. But the positive... Oh, uh, I can't leave the house. Oh, man. Bumblebee hates us. Oh, you have video games. Oh, wow. You're a cool kid. What else does he want to do? Be helped with his homework? Does he have homework that we could help with? Mm, I don't think he- Oh, wait. Who's- Oh, my God. Whose homework is this? This is Daphne's homework? Daphne has not been doing her homework. Yeah, does she want to do homework? No, she wants to invite someone over. We might be able to, like, age up a couple of local kids. Like, who is their closest friend? Oh, I forgot there's a corn child lingering. Where's the corn baby? Oh, he's here. It's Nicholas of the corn. Look at look at the look at the sway of his of his bob. Look at the sway. I caught his bob mid sway. His bowl cut, not his bob. His bowl cut. <laughs> Beautiful drama. Incredible. I don't know. Maybe you could like interact with another child for once. How about that? Play cops and robbers with the with the alien creep. Uh oh. Oh, he doesn't want to play with us. Everything's bad. Everything's are very not good. So it's five. I guess I should have them just go age up. But it's good to have the teens. The kids will be able to actually help out. And when is the toddler aging? Oh, the no, the toddler's got another day, maybe? Two days? I'm excited to see what she looks like grown up. I feel like she's going to be like a little icon. Look at them just standing there. Does anybody care? I think I think some folks care. Lazy cares. Lazy's here. We'll get Our birthday co party consists of Lazy and the corn kid. <laughs> Oh, we're supposed to have a cutscene. Okay, maybe because both of them cutscene didn't happen. Oh my goodness, does she have a leg tattoo? Wait, where's Lazy? Lazy didn't even see it. Her head, Lazy didn't even see the kids grow up. I kind of love his little outfit. Look at his little suit. Girly hair with her sunglasses. I feel like she needs a better top. She got a leg tattoo. Do you think that's real? 
<laughs> Do you think that's real? Let's see. I'm gonna get Daphne. I like his little look. Let's let's see what other kind of top I can give Daphne that maybe matches her little her new little badass look. Oh oh, I forgot. What are what are they gonna be into? Her turn-ons is makeup and custom hair. That seems correct for, like, the little punk that she's aging up into. She wants somebody that goes is a little extreme with their appearance, maybe. You know? A little little eccentric. I think it's fake, but she's doing it for attention from her from her mom. Oh, yeah, maybe. That's it. That's actually a really good point. The, uh, the leg tattoo is probably for attention, but the whole look that she could get in, potentially get into. I feel like if she's obsessed with getting attention, popularity would be good. I think I'm going to go with that for her. I don't know if we want... Should we have Jalmok age up? I think I'm going to have Jalmok age up with them. And I might have Bumblebee also. The toddler grew up too? Wait, it did! You're right! I didn't even see that. Maybe that one works. I think that one's cute. She's in all black because that's what the bad girls wear. She would go to a Children of the Corn concert. <laughs> that's so funny. That would she would. She's a really big fan of the Children of the Corn, the band. Okay, now little man's little step. Look, he dress. I like his little fancy outfit he got. He likes stank and and fitness. So he likes people that work out. Maybe <laughs> he likes them when they're stanky, and he does not like black hair. Or maybe he's maybe he's like a fortune sim where maybe that's why he's all fancy dressed because he wants to make money and get the hell out of here. I think I'm gonna do fortune for him, and then I'm gonna have Bumblebee age up. Do I want Bumblebee to age up? I don't know. Bumblebee's so cute, but he wants to be friends. They're they're like, I want Bumblebee. How come it never aged up Jalmok? I guess I did it wrong. Should she have different hair, or is she kind of like? Are the Cassandra pigtails doing it for us? Like, are, is this, is it good? I wish to remove the glasses. That's part of her identity. She had the glasses since a child. That was, that's her whole look. She's cool. You just don't understand the vision. But so here's the thing is I have some, so we do have something like this, which feels very attention seeking. But I do have these, which are like kind of pigtail, but like dyed colors. But I feel like this is really fun and fun and funky and fresh. Keep the vision away from me. <laughs> <laughs> will do what else do i have for fun eyebrows like i have some that are like shaved like she got her eyebrows shaved off i could bleach them there we go she bleached her eyebrows and shaved them off because that makes sense <laughs> i also have like the little bit longer ones and then i have this one makeup okay so i have like the thick it's like overly thick eyeliner and then i also have like smudged eyeliner or like smudged shadow she never takes it off she just keeps sleeping on it then there's actual pink. Is that the other only other color? Oh, I do have a deep blue, like a like a blue blue. Okay, I kind of like the matching blue lip. That's actually really fun. I think she's I think this is the look. Look at her. Look at how cool she is. Wait, y'all are hating on her so bad. And she's actually the coolest kid in the town now. Daphne's actually the badass. Her brother's crying because he got beat up. The way she's happily watching him cry, look at her face. She's looking on happily. I'm taking a screenshot. <laughs> she's like, good. When became over emotional, the other under. I know, I feel like she's gonna become the serial killer of town. No. Okay, this feels like a little bit like a Lilith and Angela situation we're dealing with here. Let's see if her, uh, um, let's see if Jalmak will come over. That's right, he didn't age up correctly, did he? Maybe I can age up Jalmak when he gets here. Because I thought they'd be a good pair of buddies at the very least because he's supposed to be like the local bad boy and they could grow up together all right so he might come over and we might age him up um anyway what's going on with the oh also yes we have another another age up little gremlin aged up now she does have hair she did not have hair previously should we allow her to keep the hair um looks like she has a fun little pirate outfit which i'm not against her keeping bald the child i feel like it gives the creepy alien vibes if she's bald look at her fun little pirate outfit i actually really like it See, she has no eyebrows. Oh. Oh, she actually has a broken hair. What if What if she just got, like, a little wig on? And she couldn't get, like, natural red like all her siblings, so she's got this. Oh, she envies- maybe she looks like she wants to be one of the corn kids? That's interesting. <laughs> this is giving a little corn child. Although, the th I don't really want to change her outfit, but I feel like if she wants to do corn baby, she's got to do, like, the, the full look. I was thinking, like, a regular solid- maybe just, like, the bangs look. Maybe I'll just do this. There we go. She's got a blonde wig, apparently. Jalmox here. Yeah, so Jalmox's whole thing was that he's like mix selectable. Also, look at look at the stance he's got. The little walk away stance. That leggy is pointing the wrong way. But yeah, I think Jalmox's whole thing is that he kind of he's like the that that kid from Toy Story that uh, that hurts all the toys. Like that's I feel like that's his whole thing. 
Because didn't we read his his bio before? Jalmok, a boy with an unsettling gaze and a sinister smile, is feared by everyone in the neighborhood. <laughs> his cruel games and twisted pranks haunt the other children's nightmares. Though he appears like a regular child on the outside, his mind is a dark and twisted labyrinth. <laughs> What does the future hold for someone like Jalmak? Will he find redemption or will he remain a shadow of malevolence in adulthood? I think that he would be a good potential suitor if we age him up. And I was going to age him up, but I think I screwed up age actually doing it. I'm going to grow him up. Oh. I do seem to be having some pink flashing because that's why it's invisible. I might have to reload the lot. <laughs> I'm having some trouble with the pink today. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, it got worse. Okay, got a lot worse. Okay, we're gonna have to reload the video game real quick. <laughs> this is this is this is not good. Okay, please please tell me that things are functioning. Is Jalmok still hiding here? Where's Jalmok? Is he an invisible boy? You know what? Right now, I'm not really I'm not really willing to play with play with fire. If he's here, he can he can show himself. I don't see him otherwise. Ew, who's who managed to set that down crooked? Who managed to set this down at this angle? Um. Oh, we got it. Oh, we did get gender preferences for the teenagers. So we've got Step is a straight man. He's a straight alpha male. <laughs> and then Daphne is bisexual. She's a bisexual queen. Cleaning up some messes, but it's going to be good with two teens hanging around. Either they can be here to help take care of the kids, which really we're down to just two, which is good. Or they could have after school jobs. That's the other big thing. Oh, I just heard an age up. Oh boy, we got, we got babies growing. Holy cow. I want to look at cheese. We probably got to change cheese's little hair. Look at look at little cheese. I like little cheese's face. Okay, Step is having meltdowns. <laughs> I need him to age up this one. Is he gonna do that? Okay, are we doing yeah, we're doing birthday. Oh, this one got like scraggly hair. That's kind of fun. I like the scraggles. Wait, this one's face? This one's got a fun nose. Wait, look at this. Did we get another like adult baby? Why do all of our babies have like what? Can we talk about her? <laughs> I don't know if she got the best of. I don't know if she got the best of both parents. Not to be mean or anything, but <laughs> this is the second time we've had like a baby with a really fascinating facial features. What I think it is is this town has such like unique faces that now that we're like cross-breeding the genetics we're getting some fascinating combos i actually really like her face she's got a lot of freckles too which is fun yeah the sunken eyes that must be lazy i think lazy has the sunken like puffy eye look i'm gonna give you the red one the red dress okay so we've got toddlers now lazy is asleep she's making mac and cheese it's still a cheese so it's allowed okay where are you going he's trying to sleep in here you know what i'm gonna have you it's too bad we can't have a roommate that could come and live in this this was jeremy's room it's like a whole space that he could be in oh there's oh there's literally a child here oh that's right you, this one doesn't have a good room to live in now maybe this one could become zyron's room because it's all alien themed we could just give her like a single bed instead of a double we survived it we survived a day in the bricks household we, we, we deserve a round of applause for ourselves here <laughs> okay well you're awake poor poor um I kind of feel bad for Step. I might move this out here because he's getting woken up by them crying and screaming. But I might have him help out. Change. Looks like both of them need their diaper changed, I guess. And then you. She's just sitting here cracking her knuckles trying to, like, hurt her brother. She's like, she needs to get over herself. Did you all see that? Wait, what was that? She was just like wiggling the bowl around and it just did not work. She was loosening the cheese. I got, got solid overnight. It like coagulated overnight. <laughs> Ew. I just like wonder, does she have like a secondary aspiration at all? She doesn't have a secondary. Wait, she doesn't even have all of her grilled cheese ones. Let's give her all her. Should I give her? Yeah, I guess I'll give her all her grilled cheese ones. And then like a secondary. What if she's family secondary? Like she's getting a little bit of her family sim back. I'm gonna give her family, I guess. But so also she wants to- I have this thing locked in, I realize. She wants to talk to Gawain Tomato about grilled cheese. Maybe- what if her and Gawain- what if her and Mr. Tomato got together? What if her- what if she marries Mr. Tomato and his, her name is Lazy Tomato? <laughs> that would be really good. I'm gonna see if she can call- well, she was eating. I think she's eating right now. Okay, Lazy's doing her thing. How are the babies? Not good. 
I'm gonna give this one a little bit of bladder and see if I can get her to potty train him. I'm get I, I can't remember who is who. Okay, the little boy is cheese. Um, hi, don't look at me, lazy. You did this to yourself. Let's see if curd will I don't think curd will. But also, yeah, probably I should just invest in some dog bowls. The the toddler kibble. Maybe we'll let them fill their needs before I try to bother them. Um, maybe for right now I'll have her call Mr. Tomato. Does she know Mr. Tomato? Oh, she's got two bolts and she's friends with him. Oh no, we're having... Oh, there we go. Goblin Tomato. Uh, let's invite him over. Maybe we can get a little thing going. I feel like her and Tomato could be a fun little pair. She's gonna blow up Tomato Town, not this. Don't do- you can't do this to me. Okay. Can we please greet the man? Look at him. Look at Mr. Gawain. He's got them glasses. And- in that... Stubble. Oh, a, a cheek kisses. Welcome. Welcome, Mr. Tomato. How about... ask? Uh, do you like what you see? It's like, do you- she's like, do you think I'm hot? <gasps> he thinks she's hot. Yes. Good. Okay. Okay. A charm. Also, we gotta talk to him about tomatoes. Not tomatoes. Not tomatoes. Talk to him about grilled cheese. <laughs> oh, are they? Okay. They just immediately t routed for the bed. I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. If we. Oh, he, Mr. Tomato said, I got some, oh, Mr. Tomato. Oh, Mr. Tomato. Oh, Mr. Tomato's a family sim. We need Mr. Tomato. We need Mr. Tomato. But not, you can't say that. About to plant some tomato seeds? No. Doing a little gardening? Oh, no. I, okay, no baby sound. Hopefully, okay, no baby sounds. No baby sounds. That was good. That was good. You can't sleep right now, Lazy. I know you're tired. She, Lazy is a chronically tired girly. Maybe she, that's what she's got. Maybe it's a chronic fatigue situation. We gotta, we gotta, we, we need to secure this man. We have to, we have no source of income, Lazy. We need to secure him our, ourselves. He's got a job. See, he, he lives, his entire personality is the diner he works at. You know he has a job. We need the tomato. Look, he wants to fall in love with her. And he's a family sim, so he's definitely gonna, like, get the want to, like, become engaged to her or something. Yeah, Mr. Tomato is like, I can fix her. Maybe he likes redheads because tomatoes are red. We're gonna have to, like, name the baby, like, spaghetti sauce or something. If they have a baby. I don't know that we need a baby, but, you know. He wants to be engaged to her. Do you think- I feel like Lazy is, like, so desperate. You know what I mean? Like, do you think she just go for it? I know that's him that wants it. Maybe I should select- make him selectable. Do we need a baby? Never. Do we always get a baby? Yeah. I'm gonna have him do it. Right here and now. What if she says no? She's gonna say yes. Ugh. Look at that little pink case. I'm gonna propose um, move in, and then we can have a proper, like, wedding. Oh my gosh, he brought us $8,000! We're rich! What is his job? Oh, he's obvious- oh, what a he's a waiter, obviously. <laughs> he's literally dressed as a waiter, and his job is a waiter. Alright, I'll just let them be, because their date's fine now. Okay, you. He wants to ask for homework help. Maybe he can try and ask his mom for help? Oh, he can ask his sister. I'm gonna try and ask the mom. I doubt it'll work. Okay, Step just really needs some help. And look at- She's rejected him and is just like drinking milk out of her fridge in her room. As she's just got engaged to this- uh, Look at her. Look at this. What is, maybe we- Let's ask Mr. Tomato. Do you think Gawain will help us? Can you help me with my homework, Gawain? Maybe he's gonna be like a good stepdad. Look, he he said yes. He's gonna help. Maybe Gawain, Mister Mister Tomato is the answer. <laughs> Mister Tomato is 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 our answer. Okay, thank you, Mister Tomato. Gawain missed work today. He also got engaged today and found his new family and his new calling. Uh oh, he has two bolts with Zelda Rhodes too. <gasps> what if Zelda is messy and tries to steal Gawain away from from um? lazy just like she did with husky please mr gawain please maybe now that mr gawain the professional family sim is here which also i feel like i want to give him his little family sim thing i don't know if he should have a secondary maybe he should have like a work thing i'm gonna give him the work ones 
He's 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 the working guy. He also wants to woohoo with lazy. What's his lifetime wish? Raise twenty puppies or kittens? I don't think so. Can you change diaper? Oh, you're giving a bath. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Thank you for being a good sister, Daphne. Toss cheese. Wait. <laughs> what? Toss cheese in air. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Why is that so silly? I think Mr. Tomato is our 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 path to salvation. Mr. Tomato will will save us. So Daisy, can you come down here and actually clean? I know that's like the worst nightmare for you. I guess I just have to generally serve grilled cheese, and then if I get Mr. Tomato to eat it. Look how sad she is about having to clean. She hates cleaning so much. She's walking down the stairs so slow. Not really. He's actually very sloppy too. What was it? I'm gonna read Mr. Tomato's bio again, just to just as a refresher. Gawain, an avid comic book collector, works at a modest restaurant where he's known for his friendliness. Despite his somewhat messy and embarrassing lifestyle. His amiable personality makes him the life of the place. Often his peculiar appearance and nightlife leave people wondering what lies beneath his friendly facade. Okay. I feel like that I feel like Mr. Tomato deserves better than that. Mr. Kitty, where's the cat? The cat's just chilling. The cat this cat's the only one in this household that's just self-sustaining and doing nothing. I don't have to do anything. I'm ignoring him. Mr. Tomato deserves more. What are his memories? Does he have any interesting memories? Do we, I don't know if we ever looked at them. Are they just... Oh, his very first memory is Met Uranus. Okay, his first love was Chantel. That means... that, Which probably means he went to the Rose Bride Club to get some lovin'. He got his lovin'. He had his very first woohoo with Chantel, probably at the Rose Bride Club. And he met Aaron. Oh, he's friends with Aaron. Aaron is the father of the two twins. Annalise. Okay, and then kissed Lazy. Wait, kissed Lazy for the first time. Oh, you know what? That's right. He kissed Lazy at the at the birthday party at during round one of the poverty household, the last household we played. Wait, Mr. Tomato and Aaron? Oh. Oh wait, he did he got it on with Mr. Aaron. I didn't realize that. I didn't real so he was doing he was fooling around. He was fooling around with Aaron. Okay, head first date with Lazy. That was just now. They got they got engaged. Help taught taught step. Okay. Yeah, he wants to have a wedding party. He also wants to get in a kitten or puppy. I might change his lifetime wish. So we don't need 20 cats and dogs here. <laughs> we put the Mr. Tomato puts the hole in wholesome. You're right. That's a good way to put it. I'm gonna have her hire a maid. Now that we've got money, Mr. Tomato gave us money and he has a job. And then let's see if we can get him to potty tra train cheese too. Garfield is, is living his best life. <laughs> True Garfield. I'm 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 really into like realistic Garfield roleplay right now. Like that's kind of what I'm into. <laughs> you know? <laughs> the lactose. This poor cat. This cat's gonna have diarrhea. Oh, come on, baby. Stupid baby. Just kidding. That's mean. <laughs> that was mean. That was unnecessarily mean. Oh my god, the babies are teleporting and I don't like it. Did you just see the baby teleport? I'm gonna have you sleep a little. He's been up all night taking care of the kids. Well, wifey plays video games. This household is starting to come together a little. Unlike the poverty household ever did. But yeah, we're gonna have to plan a wedding. We should have- maybe we'll have the wedding on Sunday. I was thinking, where could we- or we could have it... Maybe we could have it today. Maybe we'll have it today. Instead of having to wait. We can, like, put it out here. We do that. I don't know where to put the little radio. And then we'll get a cake. The only thing is Mr. Tomato has to go to work, but I'm gonna have him, like, call in or take a day off or something. Oh, this poor child. What does this child want? Get an A-plus report card, Have ask for homework help. We can do that. Let's ask- let's actually ask Lazy for homework help. What, you don't want to do your homework now? Oh my god. Now Lazy can't help with her homework, okay. Throw tantrum. Can you not? Can you not do the t Okay. Okay. Wait, she has- Wait, she randomly aged up with the grilled cheese outfit. I didn't see that. She randomly got the little grilled cheese pajamas. <laughs> lazy- Lazy 100% bought those. I'm gonna grab her homework and like bring it down here to maybe the, the table? See if she'll actually do it. Last time I asked, she like didn't do it. Okay. She's feeling better now. There we go. Very nice. 
I'm gonna have Lazy um, go to the mirror and see if we can fix her hair. I know, who would have known this household would become so wholesome? With a W. What, what can we do to fix this hair that Lazy would be able to do herself? Probably like pull it back. <laughs> brush it. That's true. What could she just brush the hair straight? That's true. What what would her bangs look like if they're brushed? Would they be I'm being way too realistic about this, but like this looks like she tried to give it a trim. Wait, maybe this is the new look. Like she tried to brush it and then like trim it and then she kept messing it up so she kept clipping and clipping and clipping and then now she ended up with this cuz it kept being uneven. I feel like this might be it. I just feel like lazy just can't win when it comes to the hair. Wait, cheese mommy is kind of hot. That's a wild. <laughs> cheese mommy is kind of hot. Yeah, look at her. Look at how incredible her sunken in eye is. Like, I don't even need the eye bag effect. Look at like a yellow lid. She's getting married, so she's getting all dolled up. Wait, we can get away with a little orange lip too. Got a little, got a little, little look at her. Look at her. Look at her happy little face in the mirror. But she looks cute. Look at her. <laughs> Lazy's getting the life she deserves with Mr. Tomato. I'm gonna do buy clothes formal wear. And we're gonna- Look, she's clapping. She's happy. <laughs> look at her in this one. The orange queen. I like- I do like this little look on her. And then there's this one though. Oh yeah, and this one. I feel like this one doesn't show off the curve as much. Hmm, I'm torn. Okay, let, how about we do- we'll do a poll. Why not? This one does look very good, but this one also works. I feel like they both could work. Although it looks like orange is winning currently. Yeah, I can see where the this gets a little bit more grilled cheese vibe. Yeah, our orange dress won. <laughs> Thank you for voting. Look at her. We gotta look at her in her glory. Next to her filthy tub. <laughs> look at look at mama. And I'll get Mr. Tomato. Let's purchase him. Let's buy- I'm gonna buy him a formal wear, and then I also want to buy him an everyday. We're gonna update his everyday. Have we go- oh, wait, Mr- wait! Wait, but like, wait a minute! <laughs> Mr. Tomato in his dress! <laughs> Mr. Tomato wants a dress too! But also, alternatively, we do have like this. I guess not. There's also this, which is fun. He got his leggies, he got his tights on. I like the first one. I think I might go for it. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he looks great. <laughs> those those heels are fighting for <laughs> for their life. <laughs> but he's doing great. What's his everyday wear gonna be? I'm just gonna add red. Anything red that we can- Ooh. Actually, I really like this, like, dad outfit. I'm gonna give him this for his everyday. There we go. I like that. That works. That's him. It's him. Well, everybody's like mostly chill. The only one that's not chill is Step. What is Step's? Why is Step so unhappy? What is? What are you going through? Oh my God, he's he's so addicted to the video games that he's not going to the bathroom or feeding himself. <laughs> that's unfortunately relatable. Hello, cat. Are we doing the thing? Yeah, we're doing the thing. No, goddamn baby. <laughs> goddamn baby. Why? Oh my god, they keep teleporting! I don't like the baby teleportation! Oh, there he goes to work. Oh, that's right, I had him go- Oh, I had him calling for work. There he goes. Okay, I caught him, that's good. Yes. Who is this? This lady looks familiar. Oh, Buttercup. You know what's funny? Butter- Wait, it's Buttercup! Remember Buttercup from which household we were playing? I think it was the 40-year household we played. Buttercup appeared randomly on the sidewalk and she was a random sim and we were trying to figure out who she was and where she came from. She's his boss at work. Yeah, that's the evil sim. Buttercup. We named a baby after her. Yeah, with the messed up plum bob. Oh, he's looking at me. He knows that I know. Mr. Tomato knows. He's a knower. Yes? Ugh! What is this baby's problem? It's like- it's like it's in the genes. The baby cannot behave. Okay, anyway, he wants to throw the wedding party officially, so why don't I just have him do that? Throw party, wedding party. <laughs> Tape it to the party. I, you know, I'm not sure that'll be the solution. It's a concept. It's certainly a concept. Okay, who is- Oh no, he has- <laughs> I don't think we should invite Chantel or Aaron. <gasps> Uranus, he can invite Uranus. Who else? Maybe Kitch- Kitch seems nice. Ooh, Jeremy and Tender. 
Maybe even the sister. Well, uh, probably not Phalene. Phalene's the sister. She could come if we want drama. I can get Phalene. She, she hates Phalene. It's her sister that cheated with her husband. Her ex-husband. Okay, come down and serve a cheese feast. This shall be- this shall be wonderful. I ha I've got lag, so I'm guessing that's the folks rolling on in. I want her to hug Jeremy. A cheese, you're right. Look at Uranus all fancy. <laughs> Uranus cleans up well. Step, I need you to take a shower. It's mommy's wedding day. Whoa. Look at Kitch. Okay, Kitch. Kitch looks great. She blends in with the carpet a little, but <laughs> other than that, she's great. There we go. She's wholesome. She's hugging her brother. Okay, this hasn't gone bad, has it? Okay, good. Mr. Gawain. Look at Mr. Gawain serving. Mr. Tomato is serving. Also, we have Ismini, who's our zombie girl. All right, I think I'm going to get this show on the road here. All right, folks. Look at this. Look at our big schmushel. Okay, folks, are you going to come watch the wedding? This is literally turned off. They're just, they're not even dancing to anything. Is everybody going to miss the wedding because of, because of what? Because of the lack of music? Wow. She says, you just don't understand me. I'm not like the other girls. You don't see the, my vision. You don't see my vision. The fact though that this like blue matches her hair and lips. Kitsch looks like, okay, so a couple of things. Kitch looks like she might be attending the wedding, but she is also breaking her neck at the same time. Ma'am? <laughs> Ma'am? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't do that. I asked- I- I can't- I- I- I don't know what to say. We're gonna- I- I think it's a good idea to move everybody out here. Everybody, can we- <laughs> folks, look at these two. Look at these two. The fact that Gawain is like showing more skin. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Oh no, not the brick wall! Oh, here we go. Here we go. Beautiful. I forgot about the brick wall. I'm gonna be so sad that we're gonna miss it because of the brick wall. Look at Mr. Tomato. These these two are fantastic. Look at this brick. No! The brick has ruined us! Look at Mr. Tomato down here! I'm gonna do Sim and Icon. <laughs> I want a proper kith. They need to do a proper little makeout right here. There we go. Look. Everybody's clapping. Everybody's dancing. <laughs> Look at us. Look at us. He wants a baby. <gasps> he does. He also wants vacation. We don't really have vacations sorted out in this hood. Is that your formal wear, Step? Step, why are- what are you- he's wearing like a potato sack. <laughs> Rate his fit. <laughs> it's just like so big on top and little on bottom smuggling something he's smuggling something in there what is he smuggling attack he's she's trying to attack her sister no we got to cut the cake please okay we need to cut the cake okay can we can we cut out this can we stop this okay well you lost your fight anyway girly now she's filthy and her comfort's really low my goodness there we go nobody even cares about us cutting the cake with our our mans These two. Also, can we talk about how how pretty? Look at Faylene. I think she's got a really cool face. She's got a, such a unique. Fa All the Sims in this town have really good faces. There's something the creator has has perfected the ability of like making really unique, interesting faces. Zombie Sim complaining about lazy stink. Girl, you're rotting. Um, sister. Faylene, why is she thinking about tomato? Faylene, yes, I know. <laughs> the range of emotions this woman just went through. Failing, get out. <laughs> Ooh, are we getting? Are we getting? I think we're getting the the honeymoon. I think we're getting the honeymoon again. Did we? Yes, we're getting the honeymoon. Are you going? You gotta get up. Look, we're getting the honeymoon. Yay! We got the honeymoon. They're probably gonna come back pregnant. <laughs> Him leaving in his fancy dress and her. She's coming running out in her undies. Oh no. Wait, I need this picture. I need a picture of them in the back. Hold on. Also, hello, ma'am. Do I know you? You look random. Look at him. He's filthy in his dress. Come on in, wifey. Oh my god, he disappeared. Damn it. The last time both of them were sitting in the back. Last time we said, look at her just sitting in the. <laughs> the limo in her underwear. 
alone. Okay, girly. Everybody leaves. Well, they're away on their honeymoon. <laughs> well, yeah. Are they back already? That was quick. Why are you sitting up front? Where's the tomato? Tomato's in the back. Do you think there's gonna be some baby bells? No baby bells. Well, that's too bad. We're just gonna have to go do it again up here. We need a ketchup. What if they have twins? What What do you name? <laughs> ketchup and mustard? No. Ketchup and, and salsa. Yeah, that's true. We gotta think of the last name being tomato, which is great because now officially, officially Lazy's name is now Lazy Tomato, which is just such a good name. Was there no bells? How is this happening? You guys have to keep trying. Also, we need to take a break and um, take care of this gremlin. Hot house. Is there too many sims in the household? Let me see. Three, seven. There's seven plus, plus pet, so maybe. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get pregnant. <gasps> I lied. They're both mad about the TV now. Yeah, I know. You left the TV on. What are you do doing now? Relax, you decided to woohoo again? She's already pregnant. Okay, we're taking off our clothes. What does he need for a promotion? Needs logic. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna change his lifetime aspiration. I wanna see. Oh boy, I'm in I'm in I'm in nowhere land. Bring me back. Tomatoes. Maybe he should be a gardener. Let's see. What is his although celebrity chef would be fun. He's in the culinary career. We could just do that and he could wanna be like at the top of his career and stuff. But also, like, what if he has a big tomato garden? Because <laughs> it's just his his character. But like, also for cooking. Wait, I'm gonna do that. Like, is his is his one true hobby culinary? It is. This is good. He needs a he needs a little tomato garden. I'm gonna put it like somewhere. Where should I put his little tomato garden? But yeah. So the entry like plant that you can garden if you don't know how to garden is tomatoes. So it's like perfect because he can just fill his whole garden with tomatoes. This is how Mr. Tomato reproduces. Yeah, Mr. Tomato should be a plant sim. Maybe one day. Should I have her have her baby? Do we want to see the babies before we go? Baby acceleration, tomato baby. We got to cook the tomatoes real quick. Can it be only single? That's right, it might be only single. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know what my goddamn game's doing. Here comes the baby now. We have accelerated the pregnancy for the hell of it. <laughs> <laughs> For the hell of it. It's baby time. New. I might as well just get like the short pregnancy mod because at this point we just accelerate it every time. Um, it doesn't really matter. They're both tomato. Oh, is it just one? Was that just one? Let's see. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is the. What was that? Is there a fight happening? Is that what's happening? Yes, there's a goddamn fight happening. I'm like, why is it smoke? <laughs> it's steamy because there's a goddamn fight happening. The children are fighting. <laughs> it was a girl? Yeah, it's a little girl. And now we gotta name the baby girl. I'm seeing a lot of cherry. Maybe we should do another vote. <laughs> We've said so many votes in polls this time. Let's do it. Yeah, everybody everybody likes the cherry. <laughs> Everybody's liking cherry. The poll the poll is leading towards cherry. We got one one for ripe and one for juicy. Uh oh, we're getting close. What happens if what happens if we get a tie? Oh nope, somebody Okay, Cherry won with with a bunch uh, with ten votes. There we go. Oh, share? <laughs> wait. <laughs> I accidentally clicked off. No, wait, hold on. <laughs> Cherry. <laughs> um, the children are fighting. Okay. The, the maid. This maid. The way she's reacting to everything that's happening right now. Wait, let me put the ceilings up. This this if if a picture could tell a story. Right, with with the toddler over here, the baby on the floor. Um let's go ahead and properly give the baby a bottle for the hell of it. Just just for fun. Just for funsies. Okay, I'm gonna have you get pay all the bills. <laughs> we gotta pop up about the repo man, but we literally have money because Mr. Tomato gave us money. Mr. Tomato's our sugar daddy and our real daddy. Can you recolor the mailbox? Yes. Why? What do you think it should be colorful? Mr. Tomato lives here. Wait, what if we do red and then green like the stem and it also matches the matches the fence? It's a little tomato on a on a stem, on its plant. Oh that's right, she wants to sneak out. I have to do that another time. We'll have a party? I don't know that you know enough teenagers to have a party. Maybe you do. Maybe she could have her own little party. 
for today for just the end of Sunday. Why not? Okay, what's he he needs to invite some local teens. She needs to invite some local teens to her party. Jackie, Sebastian, Ophelia, Bumblebee Sunrise. Okay. Uh I know, Bumblebee Sunrise is my favorite. I aged him up. That's right, I aged him to teen and then I forgot he existed. He fell off the face of the earth. We were supposed to have Step wanted to be friends with him. And he never showed up. Is he here? <gasps> He's here. He's floating in. He's a little fairy man. I made him a little fairy. Look at Bumblebee. This is not an appropriate outfit for Bumblebee. Hold on. We gotta save. We gotta make Bumblebee the good outfit. Although he looks like he should wear something like this. He could be floating around in like this little outfit. A little blue vest? What if there's like blue pants or something? Not blue. I said blue. Yellow. <laughs> do y'all ever have that issue where you like you mean one color and you say a different color? Because I do. I feel like I need Bumblebee Sunrise to come visit Veronaville. You know what I mean? He's got Veronavillian flair. Look at Bumblebee. That's him. That's the man. Also maybe turn this on because the people love the music. Come and get your pizza. Everybody's fighting over the front door. Can we just freaking go inside? Folks. Why are these two fighting? I forgot their enemies. Oh, oh no, Kadisha. Kadisha's flying. Okay. Bumblebee sunrise. Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay, this is Annalise Poverty, who we played last time, and then this is Step, who's one of the kids, with the twins. The twins that keeps getting beat up. Yeah, they bonded over a bet. They're literally neighbors. She's- I, you can't see it because I have it off, but they're neighbors. So she's the girl next door. Why is the party a snoozer? We're having, like, first kisses and, and, and good times. You know? This is not the vibe. I know, I made a mistake inviting these two because they're arch enemies. I feel like he should- he doesn't have any wants to do this, but I think it's fun for them to, like, be a little couple. Yeah, I could ask one to leave, that's true. If- if I- I think I'd ask Kadisha, because I think them they're- Well, I know that- I know that, um... S Daphne is friends with Polocho, so... Oh wait, she's leaving on her own! Oh god, she's- a, they're embarrassed about the mom coming down in her underwear. Can we, like, propose to go steady? Congratulations on hosting a terrific party! Okay, the folks enjoyed us. Yeah, she's our girlfriend. They're dating now. This was a- this was a- quite a time playing these guys. Why does he not like the baby? He has negative nine relationship with Cherry Tomato. Who the hell do you think you are hating this baby, sir? You don't even know her. Maybe she's bitter because he never had his mom's attention and now the mom has a life that's going better. This baby just gets a better version of her. True. Maybe that's it. She's gonna get all the tomato attention. Exactly. That reminds me, do, should I build a tomato rug? A little leaf? <laughs> it's a little abstract tomato. There you go. Our little tomato. What if- should I do like a cheese? Wait, maybe I need like cheese for- for mama. It's a little wedge of cheese. Kinda got away from me there. Kinda got away from me there. A little bit. <laughs> It does look like just a little house. I was looking at it like a like a little cheese at an angle, but I don't think it really works. Abstract cheese. <laughs> abstract cheese. That's my abstract cheese and my abstract tomato. <laughs> I feel like we're all delirious. Oh god, now what are you doing down here? You need fun. This baby's mi oh <laughs> me grabbing the rug. I just I was put the rug up there like get up here, baby. <laughs> This baby crying is driving me nuts. So we are we are done here. It's Monday at midnight. We've we've fit it. We've conquered. We've conquered the Bricks household. But we're gonna say goodbye to the YouTubies now. Thank you very much for watching. I'm really happy that we had like a somewhat kind of happy ending, even though the children are like still like constantly miserable. Goodbye, goodbye. Thank you very much, and thank you very much to the live studio audience for hanging out with us during our recording. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not paying attention to the video game. We gotta be we gotta be locked in and loaded. It's I got the Florida man jeans. I nut pathetic twinks. Wow. Holy crap, Ola man. We're loading in. I had to make something for my grandmother today. Food, like some food. She she had me make her. It's called it was it's called salmon pea wiggle. 
Have y'all ever heard of salmon pea wiggle? It, it's canned salmon and, and a canned peas and then melts butter and flour on the stove. And then after they're like combined, you add a bunch, like two, two things of milk and like mix it all together until it thickens. And then you pour the can of salmon in and you pour the can of peas in and then you just let it bubble. And then you put it in a container and you got salmon pea wiggle. <laughs> and I, I, she's like, you want to try it? I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> I'm all set. Thanks. What if I officially like remove her little di- I almost said something else. Our little dark eye bags. My, I have a really bad problem with words mashing together. <laughs> I'm allowed to say it. What if Mr. Tomato is just a baddie all the time? Grilled cheese in your undies. That rhymes. Tomato, 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 tomato. <laughs> come here. You can come around. I know there's some stuff on the ground. I have a, a vacuum on that's laid on the ground and she's afraid of it. Be brave. Hello. Hi. Are you brave? Hello. 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 Thank you. Salmon, are you okay? Are you okay, Salmon? Salmon pee wiggle. 